Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, an evangelist for Adobe, and I want to take you on a tour of the web that shows off some various pieces of Flash content running on the latest version that we have of Flash Player for mobile devices, and I'm using the Nexus One and Android. The first one I want to show you is a site out of Japan called the EcoZoo, and it was created as kind of a showcase for ecological sustainability, and it shows off a lot of really great Flash features. I think it's one of my favorite Flash showcases on the desktop browser, as well as now on the Nexus One, because it runs really, really well on the small screen and on this less powerful device. So as we go in here, we'll get a nice 3D animation, and you'll see some leaves blowing in the wind, you'll see flags and windmills, so kind of a nice, catchy 3D animation to get you immersed in the content right away. And as we scroll down, I'll kind of explain the Flash experience on the Nexus One. So when you click into the Flash content, you'll see an orange rectangle, and then when you remove it or when you get that little, little gray flash, you're now interacting with the movie, and so all gesture events are going to be associated with the Flash content and not the browser. So I'm not scrolling the browser, I'm just scrolling here in the Flash movie. I can click this guy, and he's going to show me a pop-up book with some more information, which is a great animation, and it works flawlessly here on the Nexus One. So once I get the pop-up book, I can scroll here and change perspective, and it works really, really slick. The next site is a little more business-centric. Uh, so Google Finance uses Flash for all their charting, and they have kind of a cool example because their Flash charts integrate pretty well with the HTML, so when I change Flash content in the middle, the HTML on the side updates. And once I get the Flash, I can start to drag this around, and it'll change the Flash content on the right side. The next one I want to show, my favorite TV show of all time is How I Met Your Mother. Just a hilarious show. And CBS.com has full-length episodes of How I Met Your Mother that you can watch on your Flash player in the browser. And luckily, since we have Flash on the Nexus One, I can watch those exact same full-length episodes here with me wherever I go. So this is the movie browser player. And it'll probably load an advertisement at first. Get more of the good life on cbs.com slash Now you'll notice that the Flash player detects whether or not a codec is used that's optimized for mobile, but it doesn't really affect the playback if it's not. It'll play back just fine, so as you can see we're getting this ad playing back in the browser here, and then in a little bit our actual episode should play. And one of the other modes that we have for Flash in the browser on the devices is double-click zoom mode. So it's not full-screen mode, but if I double-click, it'll kind of smart zoom, so it'll maximize that Flash content for me, and I'll see that in the browser taking up the whole screen. The next one I want to show you is another video site. Uh, right now we're in the middle of the greatest time for sports in, in the year, which is the Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm a huge hockey fan. And the NHL.com video site has a number of clips that you can watch, so if you missed any of the Stanley Cup games, you can go see the highlights and check them out using Flash. And on the Nexus One, the content plays exactly the same way it would on the desktop. And you can see we're going to get some clips of the Canadiens versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. And it'll show the advertisement, and it kind of changes the screen when the advertisement's playing, so you get that link between the video content and the, the regular Flash content on the side there. And once the advertisement is fi finished, we'll see the regular Stanley Cup playoffs, and we can use that double-click zoom mode to check out the game highlights of the Canadiens and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, of course, Flash, one of the great examples of Flash is always games, and we have a great, great games ecosystem with the Flash player. And so Congregate is one of the sites that offers a lot of games that you can play. And one of my favorite ones is called Alchemist. And so you can see here, I'm um, using Alchemist. Uh, let me try to show this. And Alchemist uses a different thing that we've got. So we have the double-click zoom mode, but I also can have action script in my Flash applications invoke full screen mode on the device. So if I click this once, It'll go into full screen mode, and I have the camera set up so I can't show the portrait or the landscape or the portrait mode, but I can still come in here, I can start a new game, and go to continue, and then use all my touch events here. So I can, what am I looking for? A blue, green, red. So blue, green, red. We get the sound effects, red, red, red. So kind of can take this game with me on the flash side. And then to exit full screen mode, I click the back button, and now I'm back on the congregate site. 
The next slide I want to show is a different kind of uh, from what we would usually show maybe or different different from games or videos. Now MarthaStewart.com has a lot of Flash content in videos so you can see Martha and her minions and various recipes but they also have a Flash little content here that helps you navigate the site and kind of showcases what's on the site right now. And so this is be kind of typical Flash content you might see on the web and inside of the Nexus One I can click it, get that Flash and then browse like I would be expected to on the desktop. I can click on banana bread and we can see some 31 recipes for bananas or 33 recipes for bananas and get that content and interact with Flash just by zooming in and getting that click event. The next one is the BBC News. So uh, one of the great Flash, one of the great news sites of course ever out there and I think a lot of people see it. And of course the UK has had a big news event recently because they just had an election. And so there's a lot of great video content on the BBC that runs in Flash. But one of the cool things is, is they've also got this little slideshow that talks about what's going to happen now that the parliament doesn't have a majority party. So the conservatives didn't win enough seats and the liberals didn't, or the labor didn't win, win enough seats. So they've got this flash application down here, this flash slideshow that shows off kind of what all the various scenarios are. So on the Nexus One I can just click Next and it'll give me a picture of the of the breakdown, conservatives and labor. Showing next, it talks about what the options the conservatives have, and then I can click next again to see what it would look like if the conservatives and the liberal Dems got together, or what it might look like if the liberal Dems went with labor. So all the animations, all the kind of slideshows that you'll see on the web, all supported here in Flash, and hopefully this is a great example of some various types of content that you can see browsing Flash on mobile devices.